Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Terra Fugia shares news of new brand. Also, ASTM International to host 2021 Symposium on Autonomy in Aviation, and FAA approves G1 Archer certification basis. Welcome to the Air News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned, in partnership with AVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Terrafugia shares news of new brand. Terrafugia reveals the launch of a new brand, Camaris. The brand's first product, the Seeker, is an electric fixed-wing VTOL hybrid aircraft designed explicitly for autonomous commercial aerial applications. Camaris revealed the Seeker at the commercial UAV Expo. The Seeker can fly more than three hours without changing the battery, with top speeds just over 60 miles per hour. The capabilities for the payload are up to 10 pounds. Assembly or disassembly is possible in the field in under three minutes. The Seeker design includes quiet electric motors that helps to achieve a noise signature of only 40 decibels on the ground and near silence at 500 feet above ground level. This feature makes the UAV perfect for aircraft for security, paraline patrols, and missions operating in noise-sensitive environments, ensuring operations will be completed quickly and quietly. The Seeker's large payload carrying capability will come with plenty of opportunities to customize. Examples include a 30x optical zoom EOIR camera for inspection, a 120 megapixel high resolution camera for terrain mapping and 3D modeling, and six band multispectral camera designed for precision agricultural analysis, a LIDAR system, a laser methane sensor, or a corona discharge sensor, most of which will feature the ability to stream data to the operator in real time. Coming up after these messages, ASTM International to host 2021 Symposium on Autonomy in Aviation. Details after the break. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at flightsimple.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Korean startup takes part in development of drone delivery service for U.S. Pablo Air will take part in the development of a drone delivery service for use in the U.S. as a member of the consortium led by EVA. Pablo Air will begin its participation on a drone delivery project in New York from April 2022. The corridor is developed with Griffiths International Airport, Thales FAA, and NASA, who are in the Northeast UAS Airspace Integration Research Alliance based in New York. Gamma welcomes three new members. The General Aviation Manufacturers Association revealed its addition of AIR, Archer, and DBT Arrow as associate members. AIR is based in parts Hannah, Israel, and was founded in 2018. There are developing personal use electric vertical and takeoff aircraft. 
Archer's team is based out of Palo Alto, California, and is designing and developing electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft for use in urban air mobility. DBT Aero was formed in 2019 to commercialize advanced integrated drag reduction, the Synergy Technology Platform, believing it's more efficient and effective to reduce drag than increase power. EVE and Microflight Reveal Partnership EVE Urban Air Mobility, Embraer Spin-Off and Microflight an Australian helicopter operator have announced a partnership that seeks to lay the foundation for urban air mobility operations in Australia. The expected start date is 2026. The two companies have worked together since 2019 as Microlite contributed to the concept of operations developed jointly between EVE and Air Services Australia. This work helped explore concepts to introduce air taxi use in Melbourne, Australia. Altitude Angel integrates SARS stuff with cloud. Altitude Angel Unified Traffic Management Technology Provider released news that its search and rescue flight planning tool, SARS stuff, will now integrate its Guardian UTM cloud platform to provide flight operations managers with the information they need to help save lives. SAR stuff is a plan and tasking tool predominantly used by search and rescue teams, such as police and fire departments that are integrating drones into their operations. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. ASTM International to host 2021 Symposium on Autonomy in Aviation. ASTM International's Autonomy Design and Operations in Aviation Administrative Committee, AC377, will be hosting the second annual ASTM Autonomy in Aviation Symposium at the Santa Clara Marriott in California on October 19th. The objective of the symposium is to facilitate discussions on standards development for aviation autonomy while bringing forward perspectives from standards development organizations, industry leaders, and government agencies. Agencies. The event also hopes to promote recommendations from a forthcoming report on regulatory barriers to aviation autonomy. Here on your screen, you can see the symposium agenda. The event is co-sponsored by ASTM International member organizations Wink and Whisk Arrow. After the break, FAA approves G1 Archer certification basis. Details after these messages. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. FAA approves G1 Archer certification basis. Archer Aviation has revealed that the FAA G1 issue paper certification basis has been approved and signed, which is one step closer toward FAA type certification of its eVTOL aircraft. The announcement took place on September 7th. The G1 certification basis specifies the aircraft's airworthiness and environmental standards required for FAA type certification. Now, Archer can move ahead with finalizing the G2 issue paper with the FAA, which will certainly 
certify the means of compliance, which they have been working on since earlier this year. Archer's head of certification, Eric Wright, speaks excitedly about the milestone. We're certainly proud to have hit the historic milestone for Archer. Obtaining the G1 certification basis is a significant step forward towards Archer's and the eVTOL industry's goal of changing how people will move around urban environments, Wright says. This is an exciting time to be part of the aviation industry as we work to electrify the skies and we look forward to continuing to partner with the FAA on revolutionizing aircraft transportation. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kang. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.